Okay, what is today? April 27th? Thursday? About 7.30? Zero freaking breeze, and I don't know if you can see the no seams, but I am covered. I am covered. I want to get out here a little bit. A little bit of breeze, maybe. Oh, they smoke there, are thick. I've seen them in a while. All right, I'm fishing with Brian and Christy. They're behind me. Just getting ready. I had to get off the shore. They're biting my face. I am totally covered. And they are still sneaking in. So we have a high tide today. Oh, I think it's about 10, 2.3. Then the low tide is going to be a 2. So it'll be pretty flat. It'll be 5 to 10 today from the southeast turning to the southwest. Oh, there's a little breeze. All right. Shake these critters off of me. Get caught in that wind and go away. I don't know if you can see them. Man, they are thick. Oh, man. There we go. There's the crew. There's the breeze. All right. It's going to be a miserable morning. I'll tell you that right now. My face is already itching. I'm covered up totally, and they're sneaking in. All right, Brian and Christy up there. Here's what I'm doing. The uh, Cricket Custom One Knocker. Top water. I was thrown along this oyster bar over there. There's nothing. Brian looks like he might have a fish the way he is fighting, yep. Looks like he does. The rod in there. Yep, he's got one on. Must be some size. He's not horsing it. He's taking his time. And I will figure out what that is in a minute and I'll let you know. Brian just reported it was a red. Top water. As soon as it hit the water, he said. So well, that'll be on Brian's Instagram. I'll get a photo of it and put it on this video so we can see. Give you a chance to see what he ended up with. 25. All right. If you heard him or not, he said 25. Oh, it's going in the bag. It looks like. Yep. Well, so much for southeast at five to ten. It's uh, gripping a little bit. We've changed our plan. We're gonna head up the creek get on the lee side up there and fish that shore so we got a little bit of work going in but once we reach the shore we can go up the creek and then the, on the way back won't be much of a effort but right now man hey nice to be able to be familiar with the area so that when things like this happen, the forecast doesn't go as planned, we're still able to fish. Haven't had much action, a couple blow-ups. I don't know if they'll make the final edit of the video or not. But, uh, no other fish. Blow-ups. Brian's throwing the skitter walk. Mud minnow color, I believe, and I'm sticking with the one knocker had the same. We both had a couple 
blow-ups. The one knocker had two. Fish wouldn't commit. See Christy up there, she's digging, man. She is digging. Get out of the window and fish the spot. This one is fish in front of me because that's where I'm going to go. And before I disturb it with the kayak, I want to disturb it with the top water. Yeah. Nice red. Yep. I can hang on to this guy. Stay away from the anchor, buddy. Stay away from the anchor. <laughs> from that cricket custom. Right here in the mouth. Just getting a little tired here. Oh, there we go. Nice fish. Good deal. Alrighty then. No, oh, maybe 22. Huh? There she is, Creek Custom, top water. There we go. Decent fish, huh? I'm going to say 22. Should I measure it? Twenty two and a smidgen. Away it goes. All righty then. That was all right. I think I'm going to take another cast here. Circus back together.
About 22. Ready? There you go. Uh, I thought I was bumping a rock. That might have been fish. Yeah. Alright, we come out of the creek. Where Brian had caught that red. We stopped in there, had lunch. Christy fish. She's got to get her fish for the day. And we're just kind of holding back, letting her fish those narrow areas. There's only room for one. He and I are just yakking. But anyhow, we're heading across this pond, and the gust just came. And I, right now, so much for five to ten. I know I said that already. This is darn near 20 right here. 15 sustain with 15 plus gusts. But we're gonna shoot across. Fish the other shore out of the pond. The tide is outgoing. So hopefully our oyster bar out there will be exposed pretty good for snook every time we've been here so we'll walk the oyster bar see what happens I've put the top water away you can see now I have that uh, slayer soft plastic tiger tail the tiger with the chartreuse chartreuse tail and I'll keep throwing that on the shoreline to get to the oyster bar I'll switch over to Twitch bait of some kind. Spiridine or a band of anglers or the Yozuri. Whatever I feel like throwing. That's the update. Oh, Brian did get a small trout there, along with that red. I'm gonna get you on that first fish. Here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, what was that? I don't know, but there's the boil. I see it. Bit. You're messing with my. Uh, you, Toss out in there. You called it. There's redfish out there. You called it. I'm going to go to the right. Just drag it on the bottom. There you go. I was dragging mine on the bottom because it's all mud. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Yeah. Hey, point your rod tip down like this. Yep, and then drag it. Then drag it, yeah. Point it out that way, there you go. Then just drag it along the mud. There you go. I missed that one. You had him for a second. That was a nice fish. That's a nice one. We're gonna go out here and see if the oyster bars are exposed, and if so, we'll Get out, walk them. See if there's any snook out there. Not looking that promising. The wind's keeping the tide in. Oh, we'll see. So there's the oyster bar. As you can see, the change in color in the water, like I can. Tide's high. Normally, you can get out and walk that, and it's a big crescent shape. It's a nice hole in the middle of it, and then gradual depth changes on the outside. And so you can fish the hole, which is good, and those depths on the outside, which has also been productive. Let's see if Brian. Conquers that. 
before I get there. Snook season is ending at the end of the month, and that's what he wants. One more. I have some in the fridge from uh, from boat outings, power boat outings, not kayak. So I don't need to keep any fish. I've got plenty. shore and we're going to plug that shoreline back to the launch. Tried this one a little bit. I was able to get signal on the phone. Looks like the rain will just miss us, go to the south. Just in case we're going to be closer to the launch. As you can see it isn't too far away. Yeah the wind is not let up at all. Long way from the forecast. I saw that was a nice cast. What's that? You throwing that heavy? No, top water. Got all the fucking hooks in this How far off the shore was he? Well, he didn't even care, did he? Right there. Oh, no. oh, there he goes. He's all right. We're working our way back. It's about over, I guess. Clouds are gathering. We're still okay. Brian's still throwing that top water. Skitter walk. What do you say, mud middle color? Walmart special? Okay, there's the launch, it's right around the corner. We are at 4.63 miles. Trying these creeks right here. Trying to get Christy her fish for the day. So far she hasn't had any luck. Fish today have been uh, top water. Got the one on the soft plastic but the rest have been top water. All day. All day long. The wind has not slowed down at all you can see made a little tough for positioning to fish the spots we wanted to fish yeah manageable right? you hit the water with the conditions that are given you manage to stay out of the rain you can see the clouds to the north clouds to the north East, clouds to the east, clouds to the southeast. We've been pretty lucky. Rain wise, it was supposed to rain. This morning it had raining here about noon. That has changed. It 
didn't and it won't. So, tomorrow. Tomorrow's the rainy day. Sunday's a rainy day. Let's scoot back here and see what she's done. And then uh, that'll probably be it. <laughs>